Hey guys, welcome back. So we're in the bog kitchen today making butter beer. Every year around this time we do a Harry Potter marathon and <clears throat> we traditionally make butter beer a specific way. But I thought I'd experiment to do a couple of different ways, see how I would like them. They're a lot easier. The recipe that I use is a lot more in depth. There's a lot of extra steps to do everything from scratch. The other ones are a lot easier. These two are both non-alcoholic and this is the alcoholic version. So I'll show you how to make each one of these. I'll give them a little test and stay tuned in the future. I'll do video shorts for each one of these individually so you can see how to do them. The recipes will be below. Now let's get started. We're starting out with the more in-depth of the recipes. This one requires a little bit more work and requires you to start at about an hour ahead of time. You're gonna need a cup of dark brown sugar, two tablespoons of water, six tablespoons of butter, a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, three quarters of a cup of heavy cream, a half teaspoon of rum extract, and your bottles of cream soda. Now again, you're starting this about an hour early. And what you're gonna do is in a small saucepan, you're going to heat this to medium heat and add your brown sugar and water together. Bring this to a boil and you're going to continuously stir this until you reach a temperature of 240 degrees. Once you've hit 240, you are going to remove from heat and then you're gonna stir in your salt, vinegar, heavy cream, and butter, and mix thoroughly. Once it's mixed, set aside to cool for approximately an hour. Now that it's cooled, you're gonna add your rum extract. Now we're gonna make our topping. What we're going to do is use two tablespoons of that brown sugar mixture that we've created and add a half a cup of heavy cream to it. Using an electric mixer or a beater, you're going to mix this until it starts to thicken up. You don't want to be completely whipped where it creates hard peaks, but you want to mix it so it's a lot thicker. This should take about two to three minutes. Now let's combine all of these together. We are going to take about a quarter cup of our mixture and put it into our glass adding a little bit of cream soda and start to mix this until it's fully combined. Then we're going to continue to fill this uh, the rest of the way to the top of the glass, leaving a little bit of room for our whipped topping. We're gonna add a whipped topping on top and take a little bit of that mixture and drizzle it right on top of the whipped cream. All right, so if you're in a hurry, this recipe is a lot faster and requires a lot less work. For the ingredients, it's a little bit different. It requires your cream soda, and it requires butterscotch syrup, one cup of heavy cream, two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and a quarter cup of melted butter. And we're gonna start out by creating our whipped cream. So we're gonna be adding our heavy cream and start beating it with an electric beater or a blender until you have stiff peaks. This takes between two to four minutes. Then we're gonna add our sugar, vanilla, and butter. This is gonna be a melted butter and make sure it cools a little bit before you add it and you're gonna start folding it in. Don't over mix it. That'll cause it to liquefy. Now for mixing things together. Now the recipe calls for four bottles of cream soda and a quarter cup of butterscotch syrup but that's gonna be for the total amount. So you're gonna need about three teaspoons of butterscotch syrup for one bottle. So we're gonna combine that together and mix. Once we have everything put together, we are going to add our whipped cream blend on top of our soda mixture, and then drizzle it with either caramel or butterscotch syrup. And lastly, we're gonna be moving on to our cocktail. This one's gonna be an alcoholic version of the butterbeer. It's gonna require butterscotch schnapps, vanilla vodka, cream soda, whipped cream, and butterscotch syrup. First, we're gonna start off by adding one ounce of butterscotch schnapps, and then we're gonna be adding vodka. In this case, we do not have vanilla vodka, so we're gonna be adding one ounce of regular vodka, and then adding about a teaspoon of vanilla. 
and then we're going to be adding six ounces of cream soda. We'll give this a stir to combine all of the flavors together and then we're going to be adding our whipped cream on top and finally butterscotch syrup to garnish. All right, so that's it. They're all made and they're fairly simple. So now time to taste. I know what this one tastes like because I've made this for many years. The alcoholic version is, the alcoholic version's got a nice little punch to it. But I'll be honest, with all the work that I put into both of these, it is quite hard to tell the difference between the two. In the end, I think I would still go with the one that I've been making for a while. These are good alternatives. This one's a lot easier to make when you're in a hurry. The ingredients are minimal, and you could probably substitute making your own whipped cream with just using the regular whipped cream that we used with this one. Now, if you're looking for an alcoholic drink, this is not a bad option. It does still taste good. It's got a nice punch to it, but in the end, this is my winner. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you have any other suggestions or anything else I should try, please leave it in the comment section below as well. And as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. What do you think? You like it? Thanks.